I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me first thank all my subscribers for such an active participation. The question here is, how to find two fractions between 0 and 1 that have a difference of 3 by 4? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now I'll show you different approaches and uh, <coughs> I'd like to keep it very simple. Let us say this line represents 0 to 1. So let's say this part starting is 0 and here we have 1. Now we need to find two fractions between 0 and 1 that have difference of 3 by 4. So let us do one thing. Let's divide this line into equal parts. So if I do this as half and then divide it further into halves, I get 1 fourth, right? So each portion is 1 fourth. So from 0 to this place is 1 fourth. This is 2 fourths, right? Or you can say half. This is 3 fourths. So from 0 to 4, we have 4 equal parts. Each is 1 fourth. So how much is each length? Each length, this much. We have each length. of one fourth is that okay each length this is also one fourth right so this is also one fourth and this is also one fourth and the first one is also one fourth right from zero to one fourth so each length is one fourth now let's answer the question it says how to find two fractions between zero and one that means it has to be somewhere in between this that have a difference of three four so let me take case one Case 1, I am saying 0 and 1 included, which include 0 and 1. Is it okay? So, so 0 and 1, both are included. So, we could take those numbers. Now, it is easy. So, if you take that as a case, then if I start from 0, then 0 to 3 fourth, these two fractions, right? 0 is also a fraction. Remember, 0 is also a fraction. Now we can write down many answers, right? So our answers or solutions are, one could be 0 to 3 by 4. Is that okay? 0 to 3 by 4, the difference is 3 fourth, right? We could say from 1 fourth to, to 1, right? 1 fourth to 1, that is also fractions right remember 0 and 1 are also fractions is it okay all are part of fractions so that could be two solutions right there now let's look into another case where uh, the end points are not included right so let me again make the same thing which is let's say we have 0 to 1 all right numbers so that's a number line for us and then again we'll divide it into one fourth right so first half and then one fourth right i hope you are enjoying this approach right one fourth two fourth three fourth one could be written as four fourths right four fourths <laughs> this is zero out of four okay zero out of four so you could think about a fraction like this we'll further divide these fractions into their halves so half of one fourth is how much one eighth right so this becomes one eighth right so half of one fourth so that becomes two eighths well, let me divide it into these small portions. So this is 3 eighths, for example. 4 eighths. Let me make this bigger so that you know this is a half. 4 eighths, 5 eighths. This is 6 eighths. This one is 7 eighths. The last one could be called as 8 out of 8, which is 1, right? And this is 0 out of 8. Think like this. So let's take this as a case. Now, can you tell me what two fractions between 0 and 1 will have difference of 3 fourths? Well, how much is 1 fourth? 1 fourth is this much long, right? So if I start from 1 8, so I could get 1, 2, right? So I, okay, so, so leaving 1 8 on the side, so we have from here, 1, 2, and this is 3, 8, right? So this becomes 3 fourths, right? So 
region between here to there leaving one eighth from both the sides that much that is starting from one eighth and ending at seven eighth will also give three fourth in between do you see the three fourth right so our numbers could be one eighth and seven eighth right is it okay so we could have our answer as the numbers are so in this case solution is is one eight to seven eight now their difference is one eight minus i mean seven eight minus one eight which is six over eight which is three out of four is it okay so you could simplify this into this part so that is another method to do and in this case if we do not include 0 and 1 if we do not include 0 and 1 so somewhere in between we could do like this now here is the third method third method is take the midpoint so let me write down using midpoint this is very important method you can use this method in any particular case, right? Now, what is midpoint of zero and one? Half, right? So, so we know, so let's draw another line here. So I'll make a smaller line this time, okay. So this is, let's say a line from zero to one and the midpoint is half, is it okay? Now from half, we want two points on either side so that we have distance of three fourths in all. What is half of 3 fourth using midpoint and half of 3 fourth? Half of 3 fourth is equal to 3 by 8. Do you see that? 3 by 8 is half of 3 fourth, right? So if I go from here, 3 by 8 left and 3 by 8 right, then I get two numbers whose difference is 3 fourth. So, so one number is half minus 3 by 8 and the other one is half plus 3 by 8. Do you see that? So those are the two numbers. Let's add them. Common denominator being 8, this becomes 4 minus 3, right? 4 minus 3, which is 1. And here if you add them, common denominator is 8, 4, so equivalent fractions, 4 plus 3, which is 7 out of 8, right? This is 1, you know, we multiplied both by 4. To get common denominator of 8. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So the two numbers are 1 8 and 7. It's the same answer which we got when we are not including 0 and 1. So this is a very good method by which you can always find any two fractions between any two points with the given difference. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.